Hi, this is Thomas Lee, Technical Marketing Engineer here at Infoblox. Here to show you the NIOS packet capture capabilities on our on-premises appliances. Say, for instance, you were asked to uh, troubleshoot a DNS issue involving an Infoblox DNS appliance. First, you determine if you can ping the DNS server from your workstation. Uh, if yes, then the network path to the DNS server is fine. If the problem has to do with answers coming back from the DNS server, then you have to perform a packet capture or look at the syslog. If you decide to do a packet capture, you, you could configure port mirroring on any switch that's in the data path to the DNS server. The problem is this takes time and you need to be local to the switch. What I'm here to show you is, is the packet capture feature uh, on the Infoblox appliance. So here you've logged into a Infoblox uh, grid master and what you need to do is you need to navigate to grid, grid manager, members, and over to on the toolbar there's a button for uh, packet capture. So it brings up the uh, traffic capture menu and what you need to do is you need to add the devices that in which you want to do uh, traffic capture. So let's go ahead and add the grid master. And oh, by the way, you can add multiple members here. And let's go ahead and do that. Then you simply set up the, the interfaces in which you want to capture from. You can either capture from all or you can capture from one. So we'll go ahead and do that right now. And you can set the seconds to run. By default it's set to 1800 seconds or 30 minutes. And what you do is you start to capture. And one of the things that you can do is you can actually close this and it'll, the packet capture will still run and you can go off and make changes or do whatever you want to try to reproduce the problem if you need to do so. Otherwise you can come back to traffic capture and when you're finished uh, capturing the traffic you just simply hit stop and let's select the data from demo GM1. You go ahead, download to your computer. So after unzipping the file, uh, you have a file called traffic.cap that was created by NIOS. Now what you can do is you can look at this uh, traffic capture in Wireshark and simply type in DNS to sort on the DNS um, packets. Here are your DNS uh, queries and you can go ahead and do your troubleshooting based upon uh, these packets to see what the problem is. Thank you very much.